guys, it's Pink Sweetener here. I'm McKenna. And I'm Taylor, and welcome back to our channel. For this week's video, we are doing a Buffalo London haul slash try on for um, every pair of Buffalo London shoes that we have. This isn't because we're sponsored by Buffalo London, although I wish we were. Um, <laughs> it's just because Buffalo London is one of our favorite um, chunky sneaker brands. So we thought we would share with you guys our like Little review collection on it and what we kind of have. Because I know a lot of people comment on our TikTok or our Instagram that they like these shoes. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video, and comment down below any video ideas or anything you want us to see and also comment so you can win the comment competition. This week's winners are these lovely people right here. This is everyone who commented the top three people. We're gonna get started with showing you guys our collection of Buffalo Londons. We're gonna start out with the first pair we ever purchased, which is actually one of my favorite ones. The pink ones. So these ones we absolutely loved. We saw, found this brand from Ariana, you guys probably know, she wore these ones before, and we fell in love with these shoes. We just like how chunky they are. They give you some height, because it's a three inch heel, so you're gaining quite a bit of height from these bad boys. And it has like an insert thing in the, in the inside as well. So you're not standing on the platform, you're like standing like an inch above this platform, so they give you lots of height, all while being comfortable still. The one negative I would say that all Buffalo Londons have is they, for how much you pay for them, because they're like $200 or so, they aren't as comfortable as, as, as padded as you would want them to be. I'm not trying to knock them, but I'm also not trying to lie to you guys. The inside has next to no padding. padding. There is some sort of invisible thing that like digs into your yeah. big toe. I think it's the tongue of the shoe. Because there's like nothing you could do to fix yeah. it. Yeah. So like you look in it looks fine. Yeah, so that's why I think it's the tongue of the shoe when you tie like the laces or something. Um I it's not know. every pair of Buffalo London shoes because like I have other pairs that don't do it. It's just like random pairs. 90% of them yeah. digs into your foot a bit. But if you really like the shoes like we do, we just wear something that's called like a bunion guard. It's like some little like rubber silicone thing you put around your big toe and then it doesn't hurt anymore because it so protects it. it. it like, solves the issue. Um, like Taylor said, not all of them do it. Like we have a pair where one foot would do it, but and one the foot other. wouldn't do it. So if you want them, don't let that deter you. Maybe it's just because I have square troll feet. You know, like they're, I'm like, like, they're like square, short, short and like wide. They're like, my feet are too small to be considered wide, but they're like the shape of a wide foot. So like that might just be the issue. So if you've got like smaller, narrower feet, like they're very narrow go, feet or even just normal feet. Yeah. You're probably good to go. It's maybe just me. Maybe we're baby square feet. The pink ones are a faux leather design. I don't think they're faux leather. They're real leather. Oh. Yeah. They're leather. Napa leather, I think the box said on it. That might mean fake. I don't know. Um, no but they're like a pink leather with just like white detailings all on them. So they're really cute and um, they're more on the website they say baby, baby pink, pink. But see how they're more of like a mauvey pink? Like a mineral pink? Mm -hmm. I love the color. But like when you say baby pink, like make a baby pink. You know, exactly. you know what I mean? But they're not as baby pink as I thought they were going to be when I got them, but I still love them, so it doesn't matter. But just so you know, so you're not confused. Here's a little video of what the cute little pink ones look like on and kind of like them in action, I guess you could say. The second pair of Buffalo Londons that we have ever purchased were these amazing, lovely, patent black ones. I love them so much. They're like a basic that goes with absolutely anything. And they are actually slightly more comfortable in the tongue region than the leather, leather ones. I think it's because it's more like bendy. It's, it's softer, more malleable than yeah. the leather ones. Um, 
I would definitely recommend. These are all the low design as well. Yeah. They're not the high design. These are the classic low kind of fit. Ooh, I'll also add that they are true to size. Yeah. So if you're trying to buy them, there's a note for you there. Another little tip is if they don't have your size, you could size up one and it fits still. Yeah. They're still like they flip, but they're going to flip anyways. Yeah. Like we have a lot of size sevens, even though we're size six because they didn't have size six, but we loved the shoe. The so only we, ones we have with six are the silver are the ones. silver, and they fit, both of them fit fine. Like I really can't tell the difference other yeah. than maybe the six feels a bit like slimmer on the sides. But if they don't have your size, go up a size, it will still fit. And here is a video that we're gonna show you guys of us wearing the black passant ones. Another pair we got because they were such a statement was these silver shiny Buffalo Londons. I don't know, are they leather? I, I think, think they're this, leather. I think they said they were leather. With like a coating on them, so it's like really, really shiny. They're so pretty. They like stand out in every outfit and we like statement pieces, so they were perfect for us. And they give us like alien vibes. Yeah, we like to pair them with other accessories that are silver to make it pop. Um, if you've seen our TikTok account, we wore them with like the silver necktie and like the silver shoes with a white dress. So they're really cute. We thought they were like, I guess Taylor said like a statement piece. Yeah. Here's a video of the silver ones in action if you wanted to see them in Up action. Up close too, so it's not like so far away. Last but not least. The final Buffalo London that we have in our collection are these ones. They are a different style from the other ones. If you couldn't tell, they have like a higher ankle. They're kind of like their high top versions. They are adorable. We want more pairs of the high top ones because we don't have many. We just have this one. They're like a navy blue with white details. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like white stitching. Oh, you can. There's like white stitching all along the thing. Um, they're really cute, like I'm telling you guys. And they are really comfortable on the ankles. And I say they flip less, I think, because they go higher up on your ankle. The and other the ones, ones. Um, flip because they can't like bend, obviously. obviously. So every one of their shoes flip, but that's because it's got such a thick sole. Like yeah. it's impossible not to. But um, these ones flip less. I would also say that these ones, the high top design, do not hurt yeah, your the bond, tongue like problem. your feet. Yeah. Because the de I think the design is obviously different. I also think it has to do with the material. It is much softer. I feel like maybe that is playing a part. So this is a video of the navy blue high top Buffalo Lenders on up close and personal so you can see every little detail. Thank you guys for watching our cute little like Buffalo London shoe collection slash information session review thing. We hope our video helped if you were wondering kind of what the shoes look like on because you weren't sure to buy them or not. Make sure to comment down below which Buffalo London shoe is your favorite or if you have any questions about the shoe company, we can tell you more about them if you want. And make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you are new and turn the little ring-a-ding bell on. That's me dinging the bell. Ring ding. Ring, ring ding. Ring. How do you do that? Oh. I don't know how you do that. It's not that great, okay? <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed our video and we'll see you guys next week. Ignore Reese being really annoying. This entire yeah. video he's been misbehaving. So we'll see you guys next week. The deck of book. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. I'm trying not to talk normal because for some reason when I'm talking right now, my nasal cavity is vibrating. I can hear that. Yeah, can you hear it? That's can weird. You hear? Can That's you hear? weird. Can you hear it? Ew, stop Why are we doing that? I'll finish this video. We will see you guys. <laughs> we will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching our dysfunctional video. As usual, tell your friends.
I'll pay them. Can you say bye already so I can bye. like Bye! <laughs> bye!